As soon as I pulled up to the probation, it was go time. She was ready to lock my ass up, y'all. So recently, YouTube's been age restricting all my videos. My videos are 100% legal under state Prop 215. Do not try at home. If you are not 18 and up, fuck off. Thanks. Alright y'all, so right now I'm gonna be going to the store. I'm about to be getting some items for our studio, man. We about to have a sit-down studio. No more car videos, you know what I'm saying? Well, sometimes, but that's in the summer. Right now the sun goes down really quick and it's hard to make videos for y'all. Alright gang, we just pulled up to Best Buy and we about to go buy a motherfucking microphone. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just got the mic. I hope y'all enjoy, man, $200 mic, you know. The whole YouTube setup so far has cost about roughly $1,000. So if y'all want to start YouTube, man, this is as easy as it, as it gets. My homie just came through with this plant, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight from the fuck. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And we about to smoke it. Let's smoke some. Y'all see it, man. Go blunt, baby. Let's spark this baby up. Show them where the bud from, man. Show them where the bud from. Let me see. Straight off the plant, baby. We got gold ashes in this bitch and everything. Look at that, cuz. <laughs> gold ashes, bitch. Let's get started on this story time. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Young Mike. And today, man, I'm gonna be telling y'all how I passed my drug test for probation and how you could possibly pass your drug test if y'all have a drug test coming up or something like that. This video will come clutch. Make sure y'all share it to people who are on probation, all that wanna f this stuff. And uh, before we get started, man, I'm about to be smoking on a big old dookie. You know what I'm saying? We smoking big dookies 2021, baby. So let me spark this up real quick and I'm about to explain to y'all how I came out clean for my drug test and what I did to come out clean you feel what I'm saying cheers y'all let's get it <laughs> so this is how I came out clean on my drug test so one lovely day I was going through it you know and I got on probation I ain't gonna explain my case details because it goes a long way I've been on probation since I was 12 years old guys <sighs> I keep saying so <laughs> Anyway guys, so basically where I'm going with this is I was on probation for a certain amount of time, you know, etc, etc. So when I was on probation from 12 years old to about 14, yada yada, damn I'm saying too much, oh my god. Alright you guys, so let me explain to y'all how I passed my probation test. Well first let me explain to y'all how I even came down to this, you know what I'm saying? So we all are on probation. If you're watching this video, you're pro possibly on probation. I got on gang unit probation because one time I got arrested while I was on regular probation. And my homies, you know, they always have my back. So one day I get arrested, I was, you know, not in the right mindset. And they were supposed to arrest my brother, but they ended up arresting me because I looked like my brother, I guess. So as soon as I went to the back of my house, I saw a cop there and he just got me, put me in handcuffs, and I was mad about it. I was like, dude, you got me for no reason. It wasn't even me. So once I got in the back cop car, I was like, hey, you got me. My homies got 45s on deck. We gonna get you, bro. Sure enough, my homies come around the corner. Right after I say that, bro. That locked his door. He started calling for backup. Two African males, boom, boom, boom. My homies is like, get out the car. Get out the car. Come on, take your badge off. Take your badge off. Yadi yadi, I'm over here in the back. I'm like, go, go. They call for backup. Go, go. <laughs> And boom, yada yada, etc. They thought because I called my homies that I was in a gang. You know what I'm saying? So they put me on gang unit. Now, gang unit officers, if y'all on gang unit, y'all understand that gang unit, they don't play around, man. They gonna lock your ass up. They ain't regular probation. Gang unit will show up at your door at 3 o'clock in the morning to make sure you're home. 3 o'clock, I'm not kidding. And she done this before. Knocking on my window and shit, waking me up. What the f so, that being said, I was on game unit, right? I had this name Rachel. If you watching this, Rachel, you know damn well you did me dirty. Probation officer named Rachel game unit, you know what I'm saying? I mother <laughs> And she watching this too. I ain't never come out clean. I finessed you. Ah, what did you do that? So look, man, I was on probation and she come to my house. I was smoking a blunt one day. You know how she rose up? I told y'all, she rolled up at three. She rolls up in the middle of the day to this time. 
and I'm with my brother and, and my ex-girlfriend and we're smoking a big blunt, you know what I'm saying, Garcia Vega. So we're smoking a big blunt, you know what I'm saying, and boom, the blunt's in my hand, my brother has a blunt, we're facing two blunts. Game unit officer comes, boom, she's rolling all slow, I'm like, I grab the blunt in my hand and I squish it with my hands. My brother, he goes inside all suspicious. He just opens the door, goes inside, closes it. I'm like, damn, this did not do no justice for, you know what I'm saying, all suspicious. She comes running out the car to the patio. What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Just like that. I'm like, nothing, it's just a black. It's just a black. She's like, oh, that's what it is? I'm like, yes, ma'am, it's just a black. She's like, oh, okay, as long as it's not weed. She's like, by the way, you have a drug test coming up. And I think it was like the day, I don't even know. Okay, let's just say this. She said, you know you have a drug test coming up in a week or something, right? I'm like, yes ma'am. She's like, okay, you better come out clean. And I'm like, yes ma'am, I'm gonna come out clean. Hell nah, and the only reason why she waited a week is because I came up dirty so many times. She gave me one month to come out clean and I never came out clean. I'm always smoking gas, you know what I'm saying? I'm always doing my thing. So finally, she's like, if you don't come out clean on this one, I'm gonna have to lock your ass up. So I'm like, boom, it comes around. I never went to the drug test. I called in sick. Then a couple of days go by and it's 420. 420. I had to get high on 420. I couldn't be sober, you know, I couldn't. I was smoking weed, boom. But I didn't start smoking. I didn't start smoking on 420 till I, it was after 10 o'clock. Usually after 10, she doesn't come unless it's like three o'clock in the morning or something like that, something crazy. So it was 10.01. I remember I had two blunts on my ears. I walk outside and I'm going to my car to smoke these blunts on 420. As soon as I hop in the car, I look behind me and it's that same car, the probation car, rolling up off slow. I'm like, oh. I throw the blunts like that in my car. I'm stuck, I'm froze, bro. I'm froze, I'm thinking this is it. They about to find the blunts in my car, all that shit. But nah, that's not what happened. So I'm stuck in my car. So as soon as I'm about to get out of my car, I see the probation coming up. And she's with a whole nother dude and another lady like on a, on a clipboard. And the lady's taking notes and shit. Like I guess she's training a lady or something. And and I'm high as. F I mean, actually I wasn't even high. Was I high? I think I smoked a blunt before she came, and I had I don't even remember. As soon as I hop out the motherfucking whip, I see probation coming, and she points the lights in my eyes. Rachel, my probation, she's like, "Yo, what happened? You were supposed to." I'm like, "My bad." And she's like, "Why are you outside your house?" And I'm like, "I was just throwing out the trash." She tells me, "Go right back inside. I don't want to see you out here again." And she tells me, "You have a drug test tomorrow." It's 4:20. She's telling me I have a drug test tomorrow, y'all. So shit got crucial. I was like, "Damn, she really." F you know I was high. She pointed the flashlight at me. She knew I was high. She had a little smirk in her face. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna lock this up. I had a look on the internet, just like probably y'all looking on the internet. I seen all this shit from detox to drink a lot of water, sweat, water pills to etc. And I'm gonna tell y'all what I did to come out clean, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I did. So at first, I was like, okay, detox. I drunk detox the night before and I threw that shit up and I was like what the fuck am I doing I ain't about to drink no detox after I threw that shit up I was like that I'm just gonna come out dirty I started smoking again and I was thinking in my head like come out dirty <laughs> come out dirty but then another part with me was like dude she knows <laughs> you were high she already told you no more to have chances so I knew I had to come out clean so then I started looking on the internet again and I looked up water pills so <laughs> If y'all don't know what water pills are, it's basically water without drinking water. So you could drink a lot of water, you know what I'm saying, etc. But you don't have to drink gallons of water with these water pills. It actually does the job for you. So I popped like four or five of these water pills, little blue water pillies. Pop, pop five of them. Boom, 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 boom. Drinking a lot of water, da, 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 da. Boom, I look up on the internet for some more tips and tricks. I see there's this thing called Serto. Serto package. It comes with two in a box. Now Serto is to make like jello and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that day I was gonna use it to come out clean. So Serto, you put it in a Gatorade, you put a pack in the Gatorade, you drink the whole shit. Then you piss it out one time, you get the next package, you put it in there, you drink the whole shit. Now you wanna do this at least four times. So you gotta get two packs of Serto, pour four and four different Gatorades and drink them all. 
Now, with the water pills and the Surdol, it's a guarantee you're gonna come out clean, bro. Drink a lot of water. Also, guys, I smoked the day before I went to my probation. So, if y'all really wanna come out clean, y'all gotta make sure that y'all don't do this on the day of your drug test. Y'all gotta make sure y'all don't do this on the, the night before. Y'all don't wanna smoke for like two weeks if you really wanna come out clean. If it's crunch time right now and y'all have the drug test tomorrow, this is gonna help y'all. This is what I did. I had a drug test literally in 12 hours. I drunk Surdol, Surdol, Surdo, I drunk water pills and, and a bunch of water. As soon as I pulled up to the probation, it was go time. She was ready to lock my ass up, y'all. I'm gonna walk in. It's already off sus. Security at the door. Ain't no running out. Once you walk in that security, I mean the probation building, ain't no coming out. They could lock your ass up just like that if they want to, bro. They got two armed security right in the front. Trust me. So I walk in, I already know it's go time. It's either I come out clean or I don't. I'm getting locked up. I go in the back, it's already a, it's a dude. It's a dude, he's ready for me. Big fat dude, boom. Brings me my, my piss cup. I brought a blue Gatorade, guys. When you take these water pills, they're blue. It will make your pee blue if you take like six of them. Now, I took, remind you, I took like six water pills and I drunk all four Surto packets. As soon as I was in the probation office, I had a regular Powerade, blue Powerade. You're gonna want a blue Powerade. Boom, I take a piss, it's a little blue, you know. He asked me why my piss was blue. Thank God I had a blue Powerade right here. I didn't have that on purpose, but then it came in clutch because I said, hey, it's cause I drink a lot of Powerade. And then, boom, I came out clean. I swear to God, tap that shit like this. He said, wow, you barely came out clean. Oh! So I came out clean, that Try to lock me up and then I swear to God they all went like this. They're clapping at me. My PO said, Wow, you came out clean. And in my head, I'm like, I smoked the night before. She's all here. Wow, he did it. Ah. So if y'all want to come out clean, man, I'm telling y'all, it takes four packs of Surdo. The night before, you're going to want to drink two Surdo packs in the Gatorade. Then the day of, you're going to want to take two Surdo packs and make sure you piss and take the water pills the night before and the day of to make sure that you are on it. And also, people say work out, you know, do all the tips and tricks if you really want to come out clean. That's how your boy Young Mike finessed my probation and I came out clean. That shit was lit, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all enjoyed this story time, make sure y'all motherfucking let me know in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, baby. It's your boy, Young Mike, and I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. Uh -huh.